It was a stormy Sunday indeed, leaving some damage all across our community. NBC6 reporter Olivia Jaquick joins us live in Pembroke Pines. Now, Olivia, what are you seeing out there? Well, Roxy, Constance, we're certainly getting some of those wind gusts that Chelsea was talking about. And as you drive around, you're going to see debris in the road, maybe some standing water, but you're not going to see too much like this. A decades old tree completely uprooted by the storm, taking parts of the driveway with it. Now, this initially fell into the road, thankfully not on this woman's home, but it did block traffic here on Taft Street and Flamingo Road. First responders have since moved it. We saw some more crews on scene this morning. They have since left, but the woman who lives here says she's hoping they come back because you can see there is still so much to clean up. Strong winds and heavy rain causing storm damage in parts of South Florida yesterday. I was in the living room looking out the window here and saw the wind come up, but I didn't realize the tree went over. At least two confirmed tornadoes were localized to the Keys and Southwest Miami-Dade, but thunderstorms were enough to do some serious damage in Broward as well. Only lasted about 30 seconds. We right away checked to see if anything happened to the house and nothing, there was just nothing. Just the tree went over and there's a root along the edge there lifted the fence a little bit. We spoke with the woman who lives in this Pembroke Pines home, though she did not want to show her face on camera. I'm just happy they came so quickly and cleared it. I'm just hoping they come back. Meanwhile, in Tamarack, <laughs> apartment buildings flooded, the weather leaving a gaping hole in one tenant's bedroom. Everything is wet. You can see how it is in here. Look like a disaster. Now, crews with the National Weather Service were out surveying the damage yesterday. We know they are back out again today. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes here on NBC6 News at noon. But again, taking you back here to Pembroke Pines, this wasn't even a confirmed tornado, just some very strong winds as far as we know at this point. And again, the woman who lives here grateful that the damage wasn't worse. For now, we're live in Pembroke Pines. Olivia Jake with NBC6 News. Yeah, sparing her home. All right, uh, Olivia, pretty incredible right there behind you. Thank you for that. And it was much the same to the northeast in Oakland Park. Yeah, that's where I find our Telemundo 51 reporter Yvette Lewis with more details on an overturned vehicle. Hi there. This extreme weather here in South Florida caused some serious damage here in Oakland Park. Take a look. The National Weather Service says strong winds from a thunderstorm caused a car to flip over and onto this other car, this Porsche SUV, now with some visible damage. This is right outside a home near Northwest 3rd Avenue and 34th Court. We spoke to a resident of this home. She says she's just glad no one was injured because her cousin was sitting inside that car when it flipped. She says he was able to climb down safely, but it was quite a big scare. Take a look at the cell phone video they shared with us taken right after that car flipped. It's crazy, don't you? I was in the car, bro. The heavy rains here in Oakland Park started early this Sunday and increased the intensity as the hours went by, also causing chaos on the streets as tree branches were brought down. In Oakland Park, Yvette Lewis, NBC6 News.